Hey everybody, this is our basic follow along class for today. So we're going to do a quick warm up, we're going to do a few exercises, we're going to run through some punches and kicks, and then at the end of this video there's going to be a challenge for you. And if you can complete the challenge, you'll earn a prize. Okay, so we'll talk about that at the end of the video. For now we're going to get warmed up, so we're going to start off with our elbow pulls. Cross and pull. Remember to stand up tall, keep your chest forward while you do these. We're going to do reverse punch, turn and punch. Nice and relaxed. Alright, we're going to do toe touches and cherry pickers. Okay, so I'm going to do a toe touch on each side, and then remember when we do cherry pickers, we stretch in between our feet to the front, to the middle, and then back between our feet. Okay, so here we go. Toe touch, down and up. Toe touch, down and up. Both hands reach in front of your feet, reach between your feet, reach back behind your feet, and stand up. Okay, you can keep going now. You got it. So each side, and then in the middle, front, middle, back, and back up. Your feet never move. Your knees stay straight. You're bending at your waist. Make sure you stand all the way up in between those toe touches and at the end of your stretch to the center. All right, good. Now, what we're going to do is a quick workout. Okay, we're just going to do three rounds of exercise here. And we're going to work on three different kinds of push-ups while we do that. The first one we're going to do is regular push-ups and some jumping jacks. Okay? So we're going to do five jumping jacks, five push-ups, five jumping jacks, five push-ups. You can go at your own speed. Make sure your body stays straight. Make sure you bend your elbows. Okay? Doing good push-ups is more important than doing fast push-ups. Here we go. Ready, set, go. So you can do five jumping jacks, then go to the floor, five push-ups. And then just stand up and keep on going. We're gonna do this for one minute, okay? So you just go back and forth for one minute. Five standing up, five on the floor. more seconds. Keep on working. You're almost there. And that's time right there. All right, good. So next round, we're going to be using triangle push-ups. So our hands go in a triangle, or sometimes people do these in a diamond shape, but our fingers and our thumb touch, and our hands go under our chest, and we bend down. Okay? What we don't want to do is let our hips sag when we go down. We're trying to keep our body straight all the way down and up. Okay? So we're going to do 10 butt kicks. So it's five on each side. And then five triangle push-ups. Okay? So butt kicks and triangle push-ups. One minute. Ready? Go. Five on each leg. Hands under your chest. triangles, and then you stand back up and keep on going. You may want to spread your feet apart a little bit for better balance. Or if these are a little difficult, you can open your triangle a little bit. You can spread your hands a little bit further apart, and that might make it a little easier. Ten more seconds. And time. There we go. All right. So one more round. We're going to be doing what we call plank push-ups. So we're going to be in push-up position. We're going to move down to our forearms, back up to our hands. Our body stays tight and straight. Okay. So I'm in a push-up position, and I go down, down, up. 
trying to keep my chest and my belly button facing the floor. I'm trying not to twist as I move. Okay? We're going to combine that with high knees. So we're going to jog and our knees up high for 10 steps. And then we're going to do two of those plank push-ups because they take a little bit longer than regular push-ups. So we have to get up and down. We'll do five on each leg or 10 knees and then two plank push-ups. Ready? One minute. Go ahead. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Back up on your feet, then you go. When you do your high knees, try to keep your body up. Try not to lean back. Try to move forward. Keep your chest up and forward while you move. One of our last 10 seconds. And that's time right there. All right, good deal. So, moving on, we're gonna go over front punch and back punch, okay? Pretty simple, just a review. I'm in my fighting stance. My left foot is in the front. My right foot is in the back. It means my left hand is my front hand. My right hand is my back hand. Okay? So if Mr. Tyler is my target, my hand that's closer to him is the front hand. My hand that's further away is the back hand. Okay? So, in my stance, guards up high, elbows in, my hand shoots straight out and comes straight back in. My elbow stays down, I don't open my armpit, I don't curve, I go in a straight line. For power, my hip moves towards the target. So in my stance, my body twists, it comes back. Twist, come back. Twist, and come back. Now, sometimes it's called a jab, front punch and jab, basically mean the same thing, okay? So if you hear us say jab, it means your front hand. Here we go. Only front punch, ready? One, twist, two, twist, three, four, and five. Boom, make sure you're doing it with us. We're gonna switch our feet. Now we changed our feet, so our other hand is in front, so our other hand is doing the front punch. Ready, front punch, one, boom, two, twist, three, twist, four, boom, five, boom. Switch again, ready? One more time on each side, front hand only, one, two, three, Four, five, boom. Switch again, last time, here we go. Front hand only, one, boom. Two, boom. Three, boom. Four, and five, boom. All right, so that is our front punch. The opposite would be back punch. My back leg, my back hand, twist and punch. Okay, look, my back leg turns. It makes my hip turn. That makes my hand come to the front. When I do this, I don't want to pull my elbow back. I don't want to lift my elbow up. I want to start by my face and push with my hip and my foot to do my punch, okay? Your back hand is sometimes called a cross. Jab is front hand, cross is back hand. Your back hand or your cross will usually be stronger than your front hand or your jab, okay? Jab is faster, jab can reach further, cross is stronger, delivers more power, okay? So here we go, back hand only. So we're in our stance, we're gonna twist and punch. One, boom, two, three, four, and five, boom. Okay, switch to the other side, ready? Back hand, one, two, three, four, five, boom. All right, one more time on each side. Ready? So we're back in our original stance, back punch. One, boom, two, Three, whoosh, four, boom, five, and last time, switch, back punch, only one, boom, two, three, whoosh, four, whoosh, and five, all right, good deal. So, double punch, we put those together. We don't punch at the same time, right? 
because then nothing's covering my face. So I do one, and then while my front hand comes back, two. My back hand goes out. Okay, so they trade places. Front hand is out, back hand is in, back hand is out, front hand is in. They trade places, okay? The tricky thing about this is making sure you move your hips still. I have to twist, twist when I punch. I have to twist my body, okay? If I just stand and do this, I can be really fast, but my punch will have no power because I'm not using my legs to help. Okay, so when you double punch, it is fast, it is front hand, back hand, but your hips and your legs have to do the work to get power. Okay, so let's do double punch. Start with your front hand first. Ready? Double punch. One, front, back. Two, front, back. Three, ish, Four, ish, Five, punch, ish. All right, let's switch to the other side. Ready? So now my other side leads because it's in the front now. One, punch, punch. Two, front, back. Three, twist, twist. Four, boom, boom. And five, ish. All right, good deal. So we did front punch, we did back punch, we did double punch. We're gonna put them together into a little combination, okay? And this combination is actually what you do when you test for your green belt in our first class, your green stripe belt. So if you're a gold belt, you're working on this. If you've already earned your green stripe belt, this will be a review, it'll be super easy. Okay, so here we go. We are in our fighting stance. We're gonna do five techniques. We're gonna do front punch, one. Front punch, two. Back punch, three back punch, four, and then double punch, five. Okay? My hands have to come back to my face every time. My hips have to move every time for power. We're gonna do it three times on each side. We're gonna jump switch every time. Okay, so here we go. In our fighting stance, hands are up. We're gonna do the first one a little bit slower. Front punch, one. Front punch, two. Back punch, three, twist. Back punch, four, twist. Double punch, five. Ay -ya. Jump switch. Other hands in the front. Here we go. Front punch one. Still going a little slow. Front punch two. Back punch three. Back punch four. Double punch five. Ay Jump switch. A little bit faster. Here we go. Front punch one. Make sure you switched. Two. Back punch three. Four. Double punch five. Ay Jump switch. Ready? Front punch one. Remember you switched. Two. Back punch three. Four. Double punch five. Ay Jump switch. Last time. Here we go. Ready? Hands up, elbows in. One, two, three, four, five. Ay -ya. Switch. Last time. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ay -ya. All right. So an easy way to practice our punches. Remember, if you change your feet, front and back switch. Okay? Front hand is always going to be with the front foot. It doesn't matter left or right, it just matters how your feet are standing. Okay? Next thing we're gonna work on is a front kick and a back kick. Okay, so remember a front kick can be with either leg, but it goes in front of me. A back kick can be with either leg, but it goes behind me. So we're gonna actually try to put them together with a spin. We're gonna start doing a slow spinning technique here, okay? So we're gonna do a front kick. Knee up kick with your heel toes up to the ceiling. All right, pretty easy. We should all know how to do that guy right there. Okay, so let's do it um, three times more. Here we go, full speed, front kick. One, boom, two, boom, three. Now, before we jump switch, yeah, we're gonna try to learn this whole thing. We're gonna put our front kick after we kick on that side. And I'm gonna turn my body around. So just watch, I'm gonna kick, I'm gonna put my foot over here, and I'm gonna turn around. So now I'm looking at the back of the room instead of looking at you. Okay, so watch again. I do my front kick, I put my foot, almost like I'm gonna cross my feet, and then I unwind, and now I'm facing the back of the room. Okay, so let's just do that. Ready? Hands are up, elbows in, front kick, cross, turn. All right, let's do it again, ready? So facing the front still in our fighting stance. Front kick, step across, turn. One more time, here we go. Front kick, step across, turn. Okay, now, here's the tricky part. I'm gonna front kick with my left foot, I'm gonna step across with my left foot, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna look over my right shoulder and look back at you again. But my body is still in the back of the room. I don't wanna turn all the way around. 
Because for a fat kick, I need you to be behind me. So you're behind me. I'm looking over my right shoulder. I'm using my right leg to kick. Okay? For the back kick, knee up in front. Kick straight back with your heel. Toes pointing to the floor. Back stays straight. Okay? You're going to tilt a little bit, but you shouldn't be flat looking at the floor like that. So we're going to walk through it nice and slow, and then we'll start trying to speed it up a little bit and get that spinning motion down. So here we go. We're in our fighting stance. Front kick, step across, turn to the back of the room, look over your shoulder, pick up your knee, and back kick. Okay? So if you did it correctly, you should have done a front kick on one leg and a back kick on the other leg. You should have done one kick on each foot. Okay, let's try it again. So front kick, step across, turn and look, lift your knee, back kick. One more time, slow like that. Ready? Front kick, step across, turn and look, lift your knee, and back kick. Okay, we're going to speed it up a little bit. You don't have to go very fast right now. If you're not used to spinning, it takes some time to learn how to twist and move your head and get everything lined up. So just take it nice and easy. Here we go. Front kick, step, turn, back kick. Okay, so we just sped it up a little bit there. Here we go. Ready? Front kick, turn, stack, back. All right, here we go, one more time. Front kick, step and turn, stack, back. Okay, now we're going to try it full speed, which means we're not going to stop, okay? Mr. Tyler's going to do it really full speed. I'm going to do it half speed, okay? But I'm not going to tell you the steps. I want you to try it by yourself. So here we go, ready? One. Ready? Two. One more time. Ready? Three. Okay? So the tricky part is making sure that you spin and look over your shoulder before you kick and make sure that you're switching legs and that you got that down. All right? So what I would like you to do is learn that on one side. And then later, you can come back and watch this again if you need to or you can switch it on your own and try the other side. But it's better, if you're learning how to do a spin, to get it really good on one side first so you're comfortable with it. Instead of trying to go back and forth too soon, it kind of gets your brain confused and screwed up a little bit. So, we did front kick and back kick with the little spin. That's gonna be part of our challenge that I told you guys about. So what this challenge is, we have two combinations for you to learn. We're gonna teach them to you right now. You need to learn them, you need to practice them, and you have to do it by yourself without me telling you what it is, Mr. Tyler telling you what it is, your mom or dad whispering in your ear what it is. You have to show me that combination. You can, um, your parents can send a video of you doing it. You can show it to me during our Zoom class that we've been doing where we can see each other. Uh, we'll figure out how we're going to do it. But here's the first combination. First one is only hands. Okay? Now some of these moves we didn't go over today. You should already know how to do them. We're going to do jab, or a front punch, cross, which is a back punch, then we're going to do a hook punch with our front hand, we're going to do an uppercut with our back hand. Now this hand that did the uppercut, when it comes back in, my front hand is going to reach out, I'm going to elbow smash for number five. Okay? So jab, cross, hook, uppercut, grab, and elbow. Okay? It sounds like six moves, but it's really only five, because the elbow smash is the grab and the elbow. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it slow and together here. Jab or front punch, cross, back punch, front hand hook, back hand uppercut, pull your guard back and grab the head, and then twist forward again with the elbow smack. So after the uppercut, as I bring this hand back to my face, I go ahead and reach out so that I'm ready to grab, boom, and finish with the elbow right there. Okay? So we're going to do it a couple more times, but this is something for you to practice. So if you need to rewatch this little part so that you get it down, that's great, but um, this is for you to practice and get it down on your own. Okay, that's why it's a challenge. You gotta practice on your own. Here we go. One, front punch. Two, back punch. Three, front hook. Four, rear uppercut. Five, grab, and elbow. Okay, ready? Two more times together. One, front punch. Two, back punch. Three, hook. Four, uppercut. Five, grab, elbow. One more time together. One, two, three, four, five, boom. 
One time, full speed, ready to go. Okay, you don't have to go that fast, but it needs to flow, right? We don't want you to do this. Right, so you need to make it flow. Try to make every move go into the next one. Even if you do it slowly like this, as long as it flows together, that's okay with us, okay? Combination number two is gonna be the kick and spin that we just practiced with a double punch at the end. So it's just gonna be like this. Front kick, step across, turn, back kick, face the front again, double punch, okay? So that was not too hard to remember. The hard part about that one's gonna be the spin. The first one's not that hard to do, but you have to memorize it. It's kind of more of a work for your brain. The second one is a little easier to memorize, but you have to be able to spin. So here we go, front kick, step, turn, back kick, step, turn, double punch. Okay, and if you noticed, Mr. Tyler and I start with the left foot in front, and then after the spin, Mr. Tyler ends up in the opposite stance with his right foot in front. So this is how you start, and that's how you finish. Okay, so here we go, let's do it uh, three times, nice and slow, ready? One, front kick, two, step across, back kick, three, double punch. Ready? One, front kick, two, back kick, three, double punch. Okay, one more time, nice and slow. One, boom, two, boom, three, and one time, full speed, here we go, ready, go. All right, so those two combinations, the hand one, and then the spinning kick that we just did, Kick, spin, double punch. When you can memorize those and do them by yourself and show it to me or Mr. Tyler, you can earn a prize, okay? Something cool, we'll find you something cool for a good prize, okay? So um, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for working out with us. Practice that challenge. We hope to see you back in class soon. We're gonna attention and salute. Bye guys.